Hello everybody, this here is a story of the great race. A long time ago when I was a young man, I was 18 years old. That made me old enough to buy liquor in the great state of Louisiana. Now my friends, two of them were 17, and little Ricky, who we called the beat, he was only 16. But my daddy, God rest his soul, he was going to drive down to New Orleans for a, a, a meeting with some people in his business. Or the business he worked in, I mean. He did not have his own business. Anyway, me and Ricky and, and the pig and, and, and took a trip, Steve, there's two Steves, we decided we'd have the race. Me and little Ricky against Steve and Steve. Now one of them Steve was the pig who y'all have all heard about. The old pig, he's a pretty instrumental in my life. Anyway, here's what happened. We went down to 1960 and 45 and spaced ourselves a couple blocks from each other. And uh, the goal was, the goal was first ones to the first red light for this night. It was the first red light in Beaumont. We would get out and meet there for the evening. Okay. Wasn't too long, we get to ride, we get rides, we get rides. But when we got to, we going down Highway 90, old Highway 90 there, and we sees coming up in Beaumont there at the first red light. But well, we, me and Beat, we jump out of the car because we know we's first. And we open the door and we stepping out and we look right behind us, and the bad car behind us was Steve and Steve, and they were stepping out of the car. And we all started laughing and said, oh, I guess this here a tie. But we're up there, they had one of the vegetable markets over here. Uh, you know, like, sort of like a little formal market side of the road stand. So we thought we'd go over there and see what we could got. And, uh, and all of a sudden, this man in this car, he, he was looking, he goes, How many of y'all is it? We said, There's four. And he looks back at his little, I think he had a Dodge Dart. And he starts looking at it, and he said, mm, I believe y'all can all get in there. And so, you know, we all got in the car with this man. Now, this man turned out to be cool beans. Boy, he was cool. His name was Mr. Stick. Now, Mr. Stick told us joke after joke after joke as we ride down the highway. And, you know, he didn't tell us none dirty jokes. He didn't tell us nothing nasty or no filth. They was just regular jokes. He'd just tell one right after another. And we'd all just laugh, all five of us laughing, just... It was just really a wonderful evening in the car with Mr. Stick. Well, when Mr. Stick got to Lafayette, he had to go off that way. We still need to go that way because we had to lose the end. I mean, New Orleans, lose the end. Well, we out there on the highway, and ain't nothing where we got to let out but a Holiday Inn and a railroad track. We out there, little fooling around, and no cars are coming or nothing, and we say, well, nobody's going to pick up four of us, you know, and, and let's try a little longer. Because, you know, we didn't want to separate, and it was like two or three in the morning then. We didn't want to separate because, you know, we young boys, we kind of a little bit scared, you know. Not scared, but cautious to the world. And So we said, okay, we'll try hitchhiking and, you know, four of us. And we tried that, didn't work. So two went over there and sat on the bench at the, Steve and Steve went and sat on the bench over there, and uh, me and the beat, now we called beat the beat, he was a drummer, but we didn't call him beat because he could keep the beat. We called him beat because when he took uh, LSD, his face would get red as a beat, and his ears, everything, he'd just get red like a beat. We called him beat. So me and B, we trying to hitchhike, and all of a sudden the police has come up, and the police pull up and say, "What y'all doing?" So, so Wag and uh, well, let's call, uh, it was Pig and Took. We called uh, Steve, Steve uh, Stanford was Pig, and 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 Steve Wagner, he was Took, cause he took a trip, you know, tripping, took a trip. His uncle used to call him Took a trip, Took. And that's how they so so Took and Pig come over there to kind of help out with the police. And the police say, "What y'all doing out here?" Oh, oh, we hitchhiking to New Orleans. And I go, what? Yeah, we hitchhiking to New Orleans. And I said, how old are you, boy? I said, I'm 18. Uh, and Pig said, I'm 17. And, and Took said, I'm 17. And, uh, and the beat, he said, I'm 16. 
Well, suddenly they all focus on the beat. They go, you got any ID, son? He said, yeah, I got this piece of paper. Now, B, B didn't have no ID because he's only 16 back then. He had a piece of paper he wrote, Richard Earl Moore, age 16. And then he had such and such Bryant Street, Spring, Texas. He said, yeah, here's my ID. And, uh, and um, them cops look at it and they go, this is no good. This piece of paper, this is no good. He goes, do your parents, and the cops say, oh, your parents know where you are. He said, yeah, I left them a note. Well, see, B gave them all the wrong answers. And they, they got on the radio. They checked our IDs. We all had a little old driving license. Like I told you about in the earlier, I had a driving license. And by golly, they got it. And they said, okay, y'all ain't got none record. And there ain't nothing on the broadcasting about you. So y'all we're going to take y'all to the bus stop. And you can just wait on the next bus because you ain't going to be out here hitchhiking. And we said, okay. So they take it to the... They take us to the, you know, busing station, and as soon as they get out of sight, we, we ain't going, we ain't have a little money, so we can't ride no bus, we won't have no money to drink no booze when we get to New Orleans, because see, I don't want to buy it, I go buy it, and we all going to drink it. Well, we got back out on the highway, and, and uh, I don't really remember how it had who or what, I think we separated, and then we each caught our rides, you know, two and two, and we raced to New Orleans. And lo and behold, when we got to New Orleans at the first red light, me and Beat are jumping out of the car, and we look at the car in front of us this time, and there's Took Trip and Pig jumping out of that car. We all started laughing. We went down on St. Charles Street and rented us a motel. And underneath the motel was a place called Crystal Burger. They had these little bitty burgers, about as big around as a 50 cent piece, and you could get a dozen of them. They was cheap back then. I think they was like, I'm, I'm going to say they was like four cents. And you know, you get a whole bunch of them for a dollar. And they come in a little crystal box, little box, you know, paper box that said Crystal Burger. And uh, so we all got us a hand arm load of them. We took them up the room. We eat them. And the beach starts throwing his boxes all around the room. So the beach quit throwing them boxes around the room. You know, we had like two, three dozen apiece. They quit throwing them damn boxes around the room. It's messing up the room. He said, I'll pay my money. You know, and that became a saying with us for years to come. I paid my money. <laughs> Little beach said, I paid my money. Well, he kept on doing it. And finally, Pig pushed the mattress in the bed down and stuck, stuck Little Beat's head in it. And then it popped, let the mattress pop up behind the headboard, and there's beat his head is stuck in there between the headboard and the mattress. He's just a screaming, oh, he can't get out. Let me out, let me out. I paid my money, I paid my money. Oh, let me out. So, so finally, they let him out and did him. And I said, if you ain't gonna pick up these boxes, I am. Cause I said, they'll give us two cents a piece back for these boxes. And I started picking them up and putting them in this sack. He goes, hey, wait a minute. Some of them boxes is mine. Old Beat, he, he picked up them boxes and he put them all in the sack. And he put them in the bag and he goes down there and he, and, uh, and he goes into the Crystal Burger and there's big windows all the way around. You can see in. So us three, we over here watching. And he goes in there and he says, I'd like to cash in these boxes. And the lady looked at him and said, what? He said, I'd like to cash in these boxes for my deposit, the two cent deposit per box. The lady said, I've been working here at Crystal Burger 13 years and I ain't never heard no bull corn about no two cents back on the box. By then he knew he had been stung. He just dropped them box, that sack on the floor and walked out. And he walked by us and said some ugly words. <laughs> Later on, we went on down to Bourbon Street, and we all drank. Uh, I bought us some fists of whiskey, and we had that in the room. We was drinking on that, and then we went down on Bourbon Street, and we found a little place called the Office Lounge. There was a nice, nice black man in there, the bartender. His name was Milton, and we just had a blast. We loved Milton. The Office Lounge. We'll never forget Milton. So anyway, we parted and everything. Then finally, we hook up with my daddy, and he puts us in a nice hotel where he's staying and uh, we stayed there at night or two and then we rode back to Spring with my daddy and nobody won the race we tied both places now ain't that a coincidence we just but we had more fun on that trip you know like a little beat and good 
good old pig, they both no longer with us. But, uh, and the other guy, I took a trip. Uh, last time I saw him, he's in sad shape. But I have heard that he's still around. So once again, I'm going to say, thank God, thank God, thank God Almighty that I is still here. That was one of my hitchhiking trips. Maybe later I'll tell you about when me and Mr. Mark hitchhiked all the way to Boulder, Colorado. But that was another place and another time. I hope y'all enjoyed tonight's little broadcast and uh, have a wonderful weekend.